hell nah. Diddy's a victim of homophobia. Diddy's a victim of homophobia coming out would have ruined him, so he was forced to seek darker sexual pleasures that masqueraded or suppressed his true desires. Kind of sad. They trying to arrest my nigga Diddy with the free code, nigga trying to charge him with... Diddy gonna be the first nigga in history to get hit with the free code. Diddy gonna be the first nigga in history to get hit with the free code, bro. Breaking news, the Department of Homeland Security has just confirmed to CNN that federal law enforcement agents have raided properties owned by musician and producer Sean Diddy Combs. Let's bring in CNN security correspondent Josh Campbell and CNN legal analyst Joey Jackson. Josh, uh, let me start with you. What do these uh, raids by federal agents in multiple locations tell you about the seriousness of this investigation? Yeah, Wolf, a very significant development here, seeing this law enforcement action taking okay. place. I'll uh, point out, just to be clear at the outset, we don't know that Sean Diddy Combs himself is the subject or target of a federal investigation. So it's just worth pointing that out at this hour. But what we do know is that two properties associated with him, uh, we saw the feds descend on those properties. We saw an aerial footage, uh, federal agents, both here in the Los Angeles area, as well as in uh, Miami at those residences. Now, the Department of Homeland Security, their uh, what's called HSI, Homeland Security Investigations, gave CNN a statement. I'll read you part of that when asked uh, about what this activity is. They say that earlier today, HSI New York executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation with assistance from HSI Los Angeles, HSI Miami, and our local law enforcement partners. That is it, confirming that they are conducting what they're, they're deeming law enforcement action, which could uh, indicate uh, search warrants being conducted there, uh, could indicate arrests being conducted. We just don't know at this hour specifically what that law enforcement action is. It is worth pointing out, though, that Combs himself obviously has faced uh, significant legal woes in recent months. I'll give you just a, a kind of a high, the highlights of what uh, actually occurred uh, in November. He was sued for rape and abuse by a former partner. That settled, uh, that lawsuit was then settled very quickly, but in December he faced sexual assault allegations in a complaint filed in the Southern District of New York. The suit was brought by a woman referred to as Jane Doe who said that uh, she was 17 at the time when these allegations uh, took place and back in 2003. Uh, he was accused of sex trafficking and gang rape among other allegations, also in that suit naming two of his associates. Of course, Combs denied any wrongdoing there. And then just last month a former employee of Combs filed a suit also uh, in the state of New York accusing him of sexual assault, of sexual harassment, and quote, grooming. That former employee stated that he had worked for Combs between 2022 and 2023. Among those allegations, this former employee, a male employee, said that Combs did not compensate him for his music production work and forced him to procure and interact with sex workers, threatened him with serving alcoholic beverages laced with drugs to guests at parties at Combs' home. And then uh, Combs' uh, son, Sean Justin Combs, or uh, son, Justin Combs, was also accused of soliciting prostitutes and underage girls at his father's homes. Again, the Combs have denied any wrongdoing, but just a series of allegations that we've seen taking place. Final point Wolf I'll note is that while we don't know the specific allegations or why the feds are at these residences, it is worth pointing out the agency that is conducting this law enforcement activity. It's not the FBI. It's not the DEA or the ATF. This is HSI, Homeland Security Investigations. For those unfamiliar, this is an agency that has long been the forefront specifically at human trafficking investigations. So although we don't have the specifics yet, uh, we're starting to, to you know, we, we can glean just...